It's Wednesday, December 21st, the first day of winter, and you're watching Matt Becker video. Not much to feel like blogging about today. These things have been popping up all over the park. Just two sticks and you put some caution tape between it. Very effective. If you know much about me, then you know that I like traffic cones. Part of the reason for that is I think cones are very fascinating in terms of street art. Cones provide an opportunity to delineate space in a way that is easily understood by almost anyone. You can just put cones out in the street and people will naturally obey them. They work as a frame for whatever it is that you're trying to alert caution to. So sometimes a group of cones might, you know, block off a hole so that you know not to fall into it. Or my favorite iteration is cones surrounded around piles. But we'll get into that another time. Oh shit! Actually, we'll get into that right now. Check out this amazing off-road bicycle track I just discovered. Let's go investigate these piles. Oh uh, yes. This is incredible. So you see here we have lots of piles set up for different tricks and whatnot. And we've got this, these construction barrels. Noting it's an area of caution. Clearly this is still underway. At least to the best of my knowledge. Radical! So why do I like piles so much? Consider that a pile is really just an accumulation. The only thing forming a pile is gravity. As you can see, this pile has a natural curvature. It uh, looks as though it's mostly made of sand, perhaps crushed glass. And the angle at which it slopes, if you can see this right here, that's called the angle of repose. So it determines how high the material can build up before it begins to slump. It's very important when you consider mountain building, how high mountains can grow. And this is called mass wasting. Anytime you have an avalanche or a rock slide, uh, it's a situation where these rocks are no longer able to fight the force of gravity. So yes, piles have a natural... Oh, what bird is that? Looks like a big blue jay. Its nest is right over here. I'll point to it, and there it is. So yes, piles and mounds have a very natural form. I mean, it's sort of what I see as the definition of natural. It's this sinusoidal or uh, bell curve sort of shape that you see everywhere in nature. It's just... Uh, essential. <laughs> you can think of humans as being mounds in of themselves. I mean, albeit we are much more complicated, we are built, we have a structure to us that is more than just uh, the result of natural chaos, though I guess there's an argument there, but regardless, when you think about yourself just sitting on the floor, you at that moment are no more than another mound of earth. Everything that your body is made of is made up of food that came from the earth and as such you are just a complicated form of earth. So I like the I like the metaphor of a person being a mound of earth. I think that's a very powerful uh, thought to consider. I think I've come across the compost pile in this park. So yes, I love piles and I love cones surrounding piles then a language starts to evolve, you know, you've got these two systems working together. You've got the cones which frame the pile. They provide, uh, as Erica has said, a beacon as well as a warning. And then you've got the mound itself, which is multitudinous in form and variety, but you just have to be willing to look. So let me show you some more piles. Here's a pile of rounded stones, some dirt piles, as well as more leaf piles. You can always find piles in human habitats. People love amassing similar, similar materials and they love uh, organizing them in a very simple and not very complex way. Piles can also be climbed. Well, getting down is the hard part though. Oh boy. Oops. Nailed it. So if you're still trying to learn the fundamentals of piles, 
don't worry, I will definitely return to this topic. You can get, you can be guaranteed of that. Hmm, interesting, the air smells like menthol. Or eucalyptus? Wow, that's so bizarre. Hmm, lots of orange flags around. You can also treat these as cones. Why does this trail exist? Hey, look at this little bat I found. Look at all these seagulls out on the ice. Now, a squirrel probably does live in this hole. Well, I have appeared to have found a cube, and I also appear to be taking it home.